Fifteen of the worst drug addicts in Middlesbrough have been chosen to walk through the doors of the country's first heroin-assisted treatment room. Twice a day, they'll be able to self-administer medical-grade diamorphine. It's a pioneering new trial which hopes to cut crime, reduce the number of addicts from dying and increase their chances of recovery. They're currently leading chaotic lives. They're, they're using street heroin, which is which is secured from drug dealers, organised criminals. They're committing crime to raise funds to, to purchase those drugs. There's drug litter as a result of that addiction, uh, antisocial behaviour as well. Um, and there are consequences for the whole criminal justice system and our public services. The costs of investigating crime, the costs of bringing cases to court, the costs of sending people to prison, the costs of probation and other service in managing them. So there's a lot of cost tied up. We think we can make significant savings and make progress in getting their lives back on track. The whole scheme will cost £12,000 per person, but in Middlesbrough, heroin addicts die on average at the age of 38. We shouldn't just throw these people's lives away um, because a lot of the time it's, you know, I'm not going to say it's not their fault, but it's a massive spiral. I do believe in them, they have to come off the drugs and to help in them, but £12,000 probably better spent uh, than a children's unit, cancer unit. We calculated around £800,000. Was, it was costing society to deal with and manage the consequences of their criminality and their addictions. Um, we think this is a fraction of that cost. And again, those costs only relate to crimes that we know about. The cost could be even greater. Those taking part will be kept under medical supervision and there will be random spot checks to see if they're taking any other substances. Organisers don't believe it's a silver bullet, but worth a try when other avenues have failed. Sophie Halsey in Teesside.